in the business world alike. That um, common sense is not so very common. I don't know if you would agree with me, disagree. Actually, it just really doesn't matter. What I have found is that people don't, don't mind not paying attention. And, and I, I don't know who to blame. Do I blame them for just being inept? Were they sh should they have been trained? I don't even know if sometimes people weren't brought up in church, so they are the unchurched. And I often think that, you know, I, um, I know that sometimes you may, one may not know the um, protocols of the church or the protocols of business ethics. Um, but there are some things that you just think like, you might not want to do that here. Like, maybe that's for private life. Maybe maybe that outfit is not best worn um, for a business meeting. Maybe you might want to bring it. And so, in today's time where everything is, is um, being challenged and everything... Um, it's becoming an HR issue. How do you address? Um, and I've actually had um, things that, that have, have gone um, awry at work um, because they, a letter was sent out to a particular contract um, and their employees that were at CDC and said, you know, some things about what should, should not be worn, can and cannot be worn. And um, that you know, I was working in the, the uh, law area of uh, in that at that time. So it, it became a kind of a like, mm, you know, a retraction was done and, you know, everything seemed to work out. But it just seems like it, even though it may not be legal to say it may be best practice. Mm -hmm. So in this video, I talk about a moment where I was just really outdone because um I just could not believe that some things, like, I mean, uh, you know, even a fool should not err here. Like, everybody, you know, with any sense, forget common sense, which is not so common, uh, forget, do you even, just ask, do you even have sense? Like, what sense does it make at all? Um, yeah. Mm, mm. Watch this. <laughs> I'd rather, I'd rather have Jesus more than any, than any, any, anything. I'd rather, I'd rather have Jesus than to be a rich and wealthy king. Oh, I'd rather have Jesus. Well, good evening. Good evening, good evening, everybody. Everybody, good evening. I hope that you had a wonderful day, that the Lord was with you, that you um, made it through the day. I'm actually headed on my... Hey, uh, ZM Hubbard. I'm still waiting on that call. We got people to meet now, don't we? Uh-huh. Um, I'm actually on my way in traffic. Y'all pray for me. I hope this is going to be all right. Um, I have to reroute as everybody else in Atlanta who has who have to go through the 85, you know, um, way, has to reroute, either way. Um, so, I have, I have an issue in this moment with Glover. I have an issue. I have something that I need to address, that I need to say, I need to get off, off my chest. It's going to be all right. It's going to be okay. God's going to get this glory. But I need to talk about this. Um, real quick, now, mostly everybody knows, who know me, know that I am of the church. I am um, church-oriented, all of that, right? So, now, not only that, but I am business-oriented. I believe in being a representative of good ethics, standards, morals, truths, all of that, in the marketplace and in the church house. Um, 
So, what I want to very quickly address is um, first impressions are still very valuable. They're real and they are necessary. Um, well, they're inevitable. You cannot, I mean, you're always going to meet someone for the first time. They'll see you for the first time and how you present yourself, whether that's aesthetically or on paper or any of those things. So, beloved, I had an incident where I was sending out an email to those who um, had shown interest in a um, the intercessory team. Um, and, you know, so the first initial contact is via uh, email because they all provided their email address. So as I'm entering the email address, I come across an email address that when I deciphered it, was Lickalicious. I am entering a or I am doing my due diligence Christian duty building up the kingdom of God tearing down strongholds planning on you know trying to equip the saints um, with the necessities of prayer trying to join forces and gather and glean and work in the vineyard and and do what is right and profitable unto the kingdom and one of the members well potential members lick alicious then I another one was something like um I forgot it was all black stick or some big daddy black yeah. beloveds now I I don't mind you doing whatever you're doing in your own time God bless you Courtney God bless you Jay I see you I see you I see you I see you Shakaz I see you bless you brother and sister doing a great work of ministry but the, even I want to help the people and I want you to share this and like this like it and share it because I want um we now some things ought not be named among the saints um uh yes some things should should I, I should not have to think about big chested beauty and big butt Lucy these are not these are not email addresses beloved they're free there's so many of them. Find you one that is more credible. Find you something that's more suitable, that's more appropriate. Are you putting that on your resume? Are you serious right now? I just think that is, like you literally took your time to write it. I didn't look it up, it came across an unusable one. You offered this. You actually sat there or stood there and wrote it on paper, documented it in your own penmanship I am just appalled. People, people, please, for the sake of the ministry, let us, I know we're liberal, we're living in a contemporary time, but etiquette is not, has not gone out the door. Um, you should be able to do, do things that, that uplift you, that, you know, and then I'm looking at you, you are of age. Everybody that signed up that day were of age they i mean when i say of age i'm not talking about 18 i'm talking about they were at least 35. I, at least you look it now what your life rendered you to look like maybe you do look like what you've been through and maybe you should not be interceding for somebody maybe we should intercede for you because something wrong with your mind are you do you think that's appropriate on a church document to submit and if that's all you got don't even put it just reach me by phone your phone's not a sex line. I hope. But I don't get it. Can anybody help me with that? I don't get it. So, beloved, that, that's about all I'm doing today about this. But that was on me because I had to actually send out these evites. And then one of them came back. The hand of the Lord blocked it, I guess. I don't know. I, I transcribed what it said. And it came, it bounced back not a good email I don't think it was good either 
The other one went through, so I don't know what that's about. Maybe the Lord had mercy. I don't know. But, beloveds, let us live in a more excellent way. Let us lift ourselves. You don't have to be grand, you, but you should, be, you should want the excellent things. David has the spirit of excellence. Um, you should want to present your best self your best self and that's that doesn't that's not congruent that's not that's aloof from excellence that's counter excellence that's contra excellence that's dumb that's stupid that's dumb don't let the devil make you a fool or at least look like one because that's that's can you imagine going heavy up traffic to, reported ahead heavy traffic pray for me it's about to get rough. I'm going to have to let you go. I'm going to have to do some things. And I don't want no witnesses. No live footages. Be blessed forever. <laughs>